Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. How are you? How have you been? Today we're going to do another chatty get ready with me. I had to go hunting through my big old bag of stuff to find something to put my hair back with. <laughs> because my OMG headbands flat. It's too much with this hair. We actually need it to hold the bangs back. There. That's what we got it for. Because I get makeup in my hair and it shows up when your hair's this color. <laughs> I've already been to the doctor for um, where they took my blood. <laughs> and I know it's ridiculous. But trust me, there are people out there who I know understand <laughs> why I would not risk that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the milk review video where I talked about that. I really do love this Hydra Primer. And since I've already given my blood... <laughs> and it'll be a while before they take any more. I'm going to use my Hydra Primer today and let that set up. If I were going to go somewhere where I actually wanted to make sure my makeup stayed all day, that's what I would do. I just got a comment not too long ago saying that I'm awfully chatty. And it was, I think, a favorites video. So, you know, I was pushing and going fast. I was hitting that accelerator. So, yeah. <laughs> I get that. It was causing her anxiety. I get that. Okay, I get how how I could cause someone anxiety. If you need somebody calmer, then ASMR is good. There's people putting on makeup in ASMR. I should do that. I should do an ASMR get ready with me. <laughs> it would go something like this. Okay, guys, this is a and I can't read it <laughs> but it's from Sigma and it's it's an eye based primer and I'm gonna put it all over my lids <laughs> okay I'll stop <laughs> for the people that that would aggravate I'm stopping <laughs> uh, I wanted to tell you guys thank you so much for your comments on my last get ready with me where I was talking about um, the girls in the office that I used to work for and how they treated me and and stuff you guys I loved getting to hear that well I don't love getting to hear that you guys went through that <laughs> but I mean I loved getting to hear your stories but I did want to let you guys know that it's not that I haven't forgave myself my gosh I can't imagine carrying guilt around for what was it over 30 years I can't imagine carrying that kind of guilt around that long. That It's not that I haven't forgiven myself. It is that uh, I never want to repeat my mistakes. Every once in a while, I will pull out the things that I've done in my life because I want to remember those things that I did. I like to take them out and play with them every now and then and see how much I've grown as a person and also you know if you forget what you did that was wrong <laughs> the chances of repeating it are probably pretty good <laughs> so I don't want to do those same mistakes over and over again I'm using up this Juno powder I've been using it I really like it with their sponge boy I, I really like this powder look I don't have very much left and so I'm really looking forward to it in its final stage. But I really like the way that this goes on. It does blur. I like it. I'm going to use this Emily Needs palette today. I haven't used this in a while. When I went to the doctor, I didn't get such a great report. I mean, it was good. Um, like, for example, I don't want to jinx myself here, but... I haven't taken Xanax for quite some time. Um, it's been a few months that I've not had to take it. And I've been really proud of it. It's like a secret. I've been keeping it to myself and just kind of like being proud of myself. And when I told my family not long ago, they were amazed <laughs> when I told my doctor. Because see, I was especially proud of the fact that my blood pressure is good, uh, totally normal. And that's the first time a doctor has taken my blood pressure when I was not on Xanax. I mean, when you're calm and you go to the doctor, I just feel like probably my blood pressure 
was in check due to that. So I was really proud that my blood pressure was in normal range without taking that or, I mean, I'm just taking a quarter of the blood pressure medicine that she gave me. It's practically nothing, just enough to say I'm taking it. <laughs> but I'm scared of that medicine anyway because I, I don't feel like I need it. I think if you take somebody that has normal blood pressure and put them on a blood pressure pill, then, oh my gosh, you're just asking for trouble, right? And this is what happened. I don't want to get into all of that, but when I would go to the doctor and they would take my blood pressure, um, it would be high. This is my old doctor, right? It would be high. Well, yeah, I just watched an entire movie in your waiting room. So I'm a little, yeah, my blood pressure's up. And because of that, he thought that I needed blood pressure medicine, put me on it, and I started experiencing all these symptoms. The point of all of that wasn't to get into my health. I'm just saying I got a good report, except for my triglets. My triglets are a little elevated <laughs> due to inactivity and my diet. Shy guy can't make me popcorn every Friday night anymore. Sherry from Canada, uh, not Sherry from Arizona. Sherry from Canada and I are popcorn buddies and um, her and Timmer watch movies and they she eats popcorn on Friday night and I eat popcorn on Friday night. Shy guy makes me popcorn and oh, he's never let me know how he does it that makes it so darn good that I thought the man had a little bit of sense. <laughs> he always hides what he's doing from me. And if I try and come in, it's like a big secret, right? Because, I, okay, he kind of likes being the person who makes the fabulous popcorn. You should taste his strawberry shortcake. No lie, the guy does it better than me. <laughs> anyway, I found out his secret to that too. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so he always makes me popcorn on Friday night when we watch our movies. And so I snuck in there one day and I find that the reason this popcorn is so good is because the dude is taking... Now, we don't use margarine or... I mean, we use actual butter in this house. <laughs> and so he was using an entire stick of butter in this... It's a big mixing bowl of popcorn. And I... I eat it pretty much all by myself every Friday night. <laughs> Just taking a littler brush now and coming in here. So I told her that we would cut down on me eating turtles because <laughs> I've got into this habit of I like turtles. I've been eating turtles. And of course, every Friday night, I'm chowing down on this popcorn. Ugh. She said, just have him make you less. What? This woman has no clue. I can't do less. <laughs> I, I'm not going to be able to do a little bowl of that popcorn. No. You might as well not give me the popcorn. <laughs> so I've switched to Skinny Pop. <laughs> I've been taking walks and just kind of trying to ease myself into this because I have been inactive for quite some time. To tell you the truth... I think it was this time last year that I herniated two discs over at the Kroger. And I used to try and walk before that and be a little bit active at the gym. But after that injury, I just had pretty much been babying myself. And so I know it's not good for me to live in a back brace, but I'm doing what I can to strengthen. And that is right now needing to take walks with the back brace on because the concrete jars me too much you know what pounding on that concrete jars me too much and I can't afford a gym membership so I'm sure as the weather heats up I'll be doing more walking inside you know to YouTube videos or something but right now I'm trying to enjoy the birds and the breeze and the coolness and take walks outside and that has me, I'm going to come, you know, I don't want to use this because it's a little orange for me. I'm going to come in this one and I'm just going to come on top of my cheeks and pull down. I'm thinking about doing a video on the difference between bronzing and contouring because I got asked that question and it's a good one. It reminded me of back a long time ago when I didn't understand the difference between the two either. 
you know? And there's always somebody who doesn't understand the same things I didn't used to understand. I ran into a friend while I was out walking. She's 10 years younger than me. I try to tell her in a nice way um, without it seeming like I'm being bossy or being a know-it-all or whatever that you need to take care of yourself. <laughs> Please, if I could go back to my mid-40s, I would change a few things. <laughs> if I could go back to my 30s, I'd change a lot. I'm talking about with my back, okay? Um, the injuries that I sustained. I keep opening this, don't I? I keep talking and forgetting, just coming into this little highlight that she put in here. I was going to do the edits palette, and then I thought, no, Emily herself has done enough tutorials on that. Who cares what you have to say? Anyway, so I see her outside. She's like, why are you walking? Are you trying to get healthy? <laughs> it was the way she said it, though. It was like, like that's a bad thing, right? <laughs> yes, darn it, I'm trying to get healthy. Mm, what are we going to do with me? <laughs> I'm going into this powder again because it's here. <laughs> it's a great buffing and setting powder. <laughs> Anyway, I'm like, well, my triglets are up, and I really don't get any exercise, so it's probably a good idea. <laughs> but she's, she just had surgery, and I felt really sorry for my son, because he's with me on this walk, right? <laughs> and we're talking girly stuff. <laughs> and I'm standing there while she's talking, and I keep moving, like I'm walking in place and swinging my arms the whole time she's talking, because I had a momentum going, and I don't want to lose it, but we're sitting there talking. She's telling me that she just had surgery, like less than a week ago, and she's been doing all this stuff. Now, she went in, and she had all of her girl parts taken out, right? So you know what that means and how her doctor gave her these instructions, but she's felt really good. So she's just doing all this stuff anyway, despite what the doctor says. She's still been cleaning the house. She's still been, you know, running all over town doing things and stuff, basically being Superwoman. And I told her, please slow down. I'm like, I need you to listen to me. Yes, I am a know-it-all. <laughs> if I could go back in time and tell myself, something to do, it might surprise you that the thing that I would tell myself is to stop trying to be superwoman. Nobody cares, okay? Nobody cares at your job if you are knocking yourself out, killing yourself, literally, to, you know, to get all of this stuff done. Nobody cares about that, and later they won't even remember you, and you'll be stuck with this bad back, that, you know? I mean, a lot of what's wrong with me is yes, I did have structural problems, but a lot of this was brought on from years of injuring myself. I have been in so many car wrecks, I think over seven car wrecks. One of them was super bad. Basically, I was sitting at a standstill in that one and these people had been on vacation <laughs> and they were both asleep. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> the driver and the passenger were asleep in their car. Christmas vacation. And I was just sitting there minding my business at a stoplight. <laughs> and their car actually, I was in a, a custom van. And I was wearing that. I have told this story before on my channel. That story in itself is a miracle. But in any case, their car like went under my van. Passengers in that car were fine. They, the guy got out and came to see if I was okay, which it threw me into labor. But in any case, I, the point isn't this wreck. The point is that I've done a lot to my back, both working injuries and car wrecks. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you are in your 30s feeling like you're super person and you're giving yourself 300% at your job, busting it, you know, to show the world how strong you are and uh, stop it, please. It's a paycheck and one day you're going to get older. Arthritis is going to set in from all these injuries and you're going to be sorry you did that. Uh, I mean, because I can tell you from when I worked at the hospital, I'm not talking about that office job now. <laughs> Worst thing I did there was uh, 
fall. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. One day when I was at that office job, I fell. Okay, I tripped. Uh, classic, right? Because we had seen in our secretary training thing, we had seen an accident video where girls would do stupid things like walk over a desk drawer that had been pulled out and they fell. That's exactly what I did. And I remember in school thinking that was so stupid and then I did it when I got my job. <laughs> like when I worked at the hospital, just here's just a few things that happened to me. Um, one time a person, when I told you I was an x-ray tech, so one time I was doing an x-ray on this guy and he was a pretty big guy. He got dizzy and fell on me and we both went to the ground. Now, mind you, a lot of times I would get in trouble <laughs> for this stuff because, I mean, I, I never really understood what was I supposed to do move <laughs> was I supposed to like move out of the way and let the guy go to the floor I mean I'm basic I broke his fall is that is that called being a good person I suppose if I had done that you know on these times I had these injuries I wouldn't be as hurt but I can't imagine just stepping aside and letting a person fall to the floor uh, another time this was a this was a big one. Okay, I actually had to take off at time for this one, and I got called into the office and talked to about proper body mechanics. <laughs> so there was this guy, and he ends up being lifelined. But before he can be lifelined, they need the X-rays and stuff to go with him. Um, that he's been sent over to the x-ray department now this was at night so you've ha I have to call in CT I have to call in you know the people that they need and he's like he's out he's being bagged uh, by that if you're not in the health field I mean Ooh. an ambu bag it's a bag that breathes for you so the respiratory tech will like um, breathe for him with this bag it's called an ambu bag all right. I specifically worked for the x-ray department, but exclusively pretty much with ER. This guy gets brought over. I have to call in CT and they bring him over. You've got an ER nurse. You've got the respiratory therapist because she's bagging him uh, so that he can breathe. You've got the CT tech who has to operate the equipment, and you've got me. <laughs> In the ER, everything you can think of was happening. So the nurse has to go back, and all the ER rooms are full. The security guards are busy in the ER because it was one of those nights. All right, so they can't come over and help me. Uh, nobody can come over and help me. Time is of the essence to get this guy's CT done so that he can be lifeline. Here's the problem though. He has to get over to the CT table and there's me. I'm the only person who can lift him and pull him over there. Nobody else can come to help. I can't call anybody in. There's no time. We have to get it done. The guy weighs 345 pounds. Using the best body mechanics I can with, they have these um, plastic, it's like a tray, okay, that you slide under people. And it helps you move them from carts to beds and whatever so that you don't get hurt, all right? So using, but this guy weighs a lot. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm moving him from a cart to the table. And you know, I don't do my best makeup while I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> it took me three times of pulling to get him over there by myself. On the third pull, I felt my back snap. And I'm like, oh my God. Everything got taken care of. Business was taken care of. The guy got lifelined. Uh, his life was saved. Um, everybody's good, but my back is out now. It's kind of a big deal that I can't make it into work the next day. Uh, so, it was presented to me that I did not use proper body mechanics and that I should not 
at any cost, have tried to pull him, that man over all by myself. Why didn't I get help? I'm like, from who? <laughs> I mean, first of all, it, had, it was a situation that had to be done right now. I can't go, let me just call in one of my fellow x-ray tags and wait. They got 30 minutes to get in there. And wait 30 minutes. The helicopter is on its way. He has got to go. So I'm like, okay, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to like say, I'm sorry, guys. He's just going to have to die because I can't pull him over there. I might hurt my back. Can you imagine telling the grieving wife who's out in the hall? What am I supposed to do? Say to this lady, you know, I'm awfully sorry. Your husband's just going to have to die. I might hurt my back. So, no, I didn't do that. It's those kind of things, you know. They happen. Uh, injuring yourself over and over, car wrecks, whatever. Giving 300% to your job every night like that. Because you want everyone, I don't know, what? To think you're superhuman? So this is my friend, right? She's out there. She's basking in the glory of... Look what all I can do. And I just had surgery. And I'm going, please stop it. <laughs> because you're not going to believe what a difference 45 and 55 are. You're not going to believe how much different you're going to feel at 55 health-wise than you do at 45. And you're going to long for 35. <laughs> I look at where I'm at. At 57 years old, I'm looking at how I feel right now and where my mother is and I know that this is what's coming up possibly down the road this is looking good <laughs> I loved that my co-workers thought I was just the best um, I loved that my bosses thought that I was the best right uh, but in the long run if I had it to do over again that adoration is short-lived and a lot of times, those people that you're trying to please, they're the very ones who will turn on you first when you can't do it anymore. Just think about what you're doing, if that's you. I feel like I need a little bit of shadow underneath here, and then I'm going to fix my hair and call this done. I love hearing from you below, so please leave me a comment, if nothing else, just to say, hey, uh, a big thumbs up on your way out. And guys, I need to tell you. You're the best part of the Fritzy family. I challenge you to go out and be a blessing to somebody else today. Until next time, love you, see ya, bye, and I'm out. You go like this, it means you're chatty, but if you go like this, it means you're chatty and all over the place. Are you talking behind my back? Are you saying, Mary, you're too old to wear kitty cat ears. Are you being catty? <laughs> Are you being catty? Stop it. Just stop it. Big old sequin bow. Just in case I wasn't ostentatious. Ostentatious? Just in case I wasn't ostentatious enough for ya. Woohoo! You guys remember when I had the bitmoji with these? You know what's good about this? Nobody is paying attention to your under eyed wrinkles and bags when they have all of this loveliness to look at. So I don't need this. Ah! I don't need this squishy little snowman. Tilly the. Tilly the squishy snowman was a. Good little beauty sponge. <laughs> when you squish it together, it kind of looks like some buns. <laughs> I know that's going to upset Sherry. We're pop popcorn. Pu -pu -pu -pu. <laughs> Sherry and I are pu -pu 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 -pu. <laughs> All right, do you see how in here? Oh my God, I'm giving you the finger. I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm a mess. I need you to listen to me. Okay. I, <laughs> I'm the queen of things rolling on the floor. She's painting her lips all red, painting her lips all red. Dee -dee 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 -dee. She's painting, get it? She's painting the roses red. She's painting the roses red.